Hello, everybody. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Here we've got two teams who will look to their running backs to try to control the pace of the game. It's Miller's Texans going up against Jeremy Hill's Beagles. For the call, let's send you out to the broadcast booth where we'll join our commentators, Brandon Guyton and Charles Davis. From the banks of the Ohio River, there's a look at Paul Brown Stadium here in Cincinnati, Ohio. The enthusiasm of this Cincinnati crowd in full effect a moment ago as their Bengals took the field to the delight of this sold-out crowd. And they're all set as they'll match up with the Houston Texans. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. On the return, it's Alex Erickson. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. Here come the Bengals now to take over. They'll be let out by the former Texas Christian University Horn Frog, Andy Dalton. And remember, he was a day one starter his rookie year, and that was the year of the lockout. So he didn't even get the OTAs and minicamp that led into it, led his team to the playoffs that year, led his team to the playoffs his first five years in the league before a 6-9-1 record in 2016. They go play action here on first down. Throw left side complete to Ross. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. A gain of 39 that time. He just saw him hit a big play there on a deep post. And most of the time, the post isn't available because you usually have defenders in the middle of the field. But if you throw enough curls and crossing routes and underneath routes, <laughs> I know from experience, they get tired of watching those balls get caught. They start to creep up a little bit, and that's when you can hit them big over the top. Fresh set of downs here. First carry now. This is Hill. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Ten yards there on a Bengal first. Well, one unit I know you want to watch is that offensive line. If they keep clearing holes like that, it could be a long night defensively. No doubt about it, because when they are in sync, as we're seeing so far, when that continuity is there, and you can see that they're playing off of each other while controlling the defensive front linebackers, you're exactly right. It could be a very long night for the defense because someone's going to run for some big yardage. They stick on the ground on first down with Hill. Heck of a broken tackle, but only able to work this down near the 23. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Here now the offense for the Bengals. When you're right on the verge of being a top 10 overall offense in the NFL, you would think that things are pretty good for your team. But the Bengals want to improve. They were 13th in rushing, and for a team that wants to run the football first, last, and always, that's an area that they're trying to jump up in 2017. Dalton to Hill on the draw. And he's going to take this one down to about the 23-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. 
And a look now at the defense for Houston. The Houston Texans in 2016 on defense defied convention. Why? J.J. Watt missed most of the season, so you would expect them to struggle a little bit. But in fact, this was the number one overall defense in the NFL. They stopped the run, forced teams to throw the football, and really got after them with a terrific pass rush. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Dalton now to pass. And that is incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. So on fourth down, Marvin Lewis sends on the field goal unit. They'll spot it at the 30, so this is a 40-yard attempt. And Bullock will put this one through. And the Bengals are on the board first here. It's 3 nothing. So they get the ball first here in front of the home crowd under the lights, and they get three points out of it. And there's something about a night game, isn't there? A little extra snap, a little extra crisp in the air. What a terrific way to get things started. A little extra excitement, a little extra dazzle for the home crowd. To the field goal now, it's Bullock to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. So out come the Texans for their opening drive. They're led out by their 6'4 quarterback, the former Pitt Panther, Tom Savage. And Tom Savage is one of those guys that when you look at him, you see the potential that's there. You get a chance to watch him practice and see him throw the football. But he hasn't had many chances to play in games. And you just wonder, if given a full shot, what exactly would it look like? fake here on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. It's caught inside the 25. Touchdown, Houston. DeAndre Hopkins, 81 yards. And the Texans have taken the early lead. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. Extra point attempt to come here. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. 
The Bengal offense now gets set to head back out onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. A first down throw coming for Dalton. Out to the flat. That's complete to his running back. And down he goes just beyond the 35. But that pretty move got him some extra space to run. It's a gain of five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end. But running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Dalton throwing on second down. And he'll be out of bounds up past the 45. A Bengal first down. Dalton hitting LaFell. That's a matchup. Maybe they go back to their outer third of the field as this game continues. Yeah, I think back to my high school coach, John Ford, he used to say when we got big plays early in a game or good plays, he'd always say, foul it away, lad. Foul it away because he'd want to come back to it later in a key situation. They may come back to this one a little more often than that. Didn't he say laddie or did he say lad? Yeah, it just depended on what he was feeling at the okay. moment. Okay, I thought, I thought that was the guy you told me about that he used to say laddie a lot. Laddie? When you heard laddie, he was usually in a pretty good mood. Lad? Eh. Now Dalton with a first and ten. And he finds a man on the crossing route. And he takes this one down all the way near the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. First and ten for Dalton. And he finds Tyler Croft. And he'll go down at the 28. That throw good for four. It's second down. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down now after the pass completion. Another chance for Dalton. Under pressure and down he goes. They sack him back at the 36. J.J. Watt in there to bring him down for a loss of seven. And they weren't in zone coverage. They were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old-school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a Defensive Player of the Year at the other, and they just locked people down. So the sack, and now it's third and long for Dalton and the Bengals. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. And he's going to go down again. Oh, and after the sack, he's still down on the field. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back.
Now the left-footed punter in his ninth year, Kevin Huber on to kick. Back deep for the Texans is Tyler Irvin. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. The Texans offense now, they get set to head back on the field here. And following that long touchdown pass, a one-play drive last time, to see if the defense, you, you know they're ready. They don't want that to happen again. And you would have thought they would have been ready the that's last true. time. That's I mean, true. that's what you work on all the time. Make sure that no one gets behind you. That's the cardinal sin of defense, not giving up the long pass. They did. Let's see how they adjust. This is Lamar Miller spinning away and able to stay on his feet past the 30 to about the 33-yard line. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell early on he's got a little burst in his step, and that's a big pickup right there on first down. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. A play fake to Miller. Now Savage. And this one is incomplete. The Pro Bowler DeAndre Hopkins, the intended receiver. And it's third and short. And let's look here at the Houston offense. When you think of the Texans, you think this is a team that likes to throw the football. In 2016, though, they weren't very good at it. 29th overall in passing, but they were eighth in rushing. So let's see if they lean on the running game to start this contest. And they're hoping to get more consistency throwing the ball downfield. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. here. This is Prosh, the fullback. And he tries to power forward, but he will not get back to the line of scrimmage. I get the thought process. Third and short. Give it to the fullback. Let him bulldoze his way. But that means you're counting on your offensive line to win the line of scrimmage, aren't you? Yeah, there was just a mass of bodies there at the line. Looked like more defenders than offensive guys. Winds up losing yardage. Here now, Shane Leckler, 41-year-old punter, to kick it away. Back deep for the Bengals, Adam Jones. <laughs> Jones on the return. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And the Bengals will have a first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Bengals offense now, they head back onto the field. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. Throwing on first. Here's McCarron. Toward the left sideline, but it's incomplete. The H-back, Ryan Hewitt, the intended receiver. And it's second down. But not to get too overcritical there, because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. McCarron again here on second and ten. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. There goes Green. The 30. Past the 20. And he just falls short down at the one-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 85 yards. 
usually hitting a deep post pattern as we just saw there for a big gainer that's tough to do because you usually have a safety or two in the middle of the field but if you hit enough crossers and underneath routes and curls you start to get those guys creeping up wanting to make plays on the football it's the equivalent of a change up in baseball you show your other stuff throw the change up and on that play it worked for big yardage So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. They'll come out in the pistol. Let's go. Working from the gun here, McCarron. That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. First and goal, forget running the football, forget establishing anything, just put it in the end zone with the pass for a touchdown. Oh, yeah, I guess that's the definition of catching the defense off guard there. They weren't expecting that. And that totally goes against type, doesn't it? When you think first and goal from the one, you're thinking running play. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And it's finished off with a Cincinnati touchdown. out now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to come out is going to cost him five as he's taken down right at the 20. Out comes the Houston offense as they get set to take over here. This is their third drive right now. Maybe not about points, just about getting something. They haven't gotten a first down yet in this game. It's a mental barrier you don't think about until you go a couple of drives without getting a first down. Then all of a sudden it looms big. It gets harder and harder to actually attain that first first down. Start out on the ground. It's Lamar Miller. And he'll power his way up near the 25. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. The defensive starters now for Cincinnati. The Cincinnati defense is well respected around the league, but they didn't play to their standard in 2016. If you just look at the pure numbers, ended up 17th overall in total defense. But in the tough division that they're in, the AFC North, they have to be better against the run. They ranked just 21st in 2016. That's got to change for them to make the improvement they want in 2017. See if they stay on the ground for second down. They'll run it again with Miller. Absolutely nobody fooled there. He's going nowhere fast as he stopped behind the line of scrimmage. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll lead here to a third down. Every year I go to the combine and marvel at the speeds that linebackers are running nowadays. They run like DBs. And let's face it, they know how to finish plays too. Eyes up, head up, run right through them. So now at third and seven, and defensively, it's a dime look. Six DBs. Back to throw, Savage. And he's got the completion to Hopkins. And he's able to get it to the 31, and that's enough for the first. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Tom Savage took over as a starting quarterback late in 2016, but got hurt, unable to play in the playoffs. But he's back entrenched as Bill O'Brien's number one QB. 
starting 2017, but Deshaun Watson, their number one choice, <laughs> lurking in the wings. So here we go, first and 10 now. This is Miller. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean, or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. And after the play on the ground, that brings up second down here. Again, it's Miller. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Two yards on the carry there, and it's going to lead him to third down. Well, if the coaching staff's doing a good job upstairs, they'll file away what they just saw from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action, hit them over the top. A play fake to Blue. Savage. Looking for Strong, and it's intercepted. Read it well, and it's picked. And to the 43. So down inside the 45 to the 43-yard line, that's where they'll take over. Offensively, when you see cover two, the thought has to go through the quarterback's head. Drive the football when making throws. It's not just the deep guys covering. It's the guys underneath you have to be careful of. Drive your throw. Otherwise, you see what results? Interceptions. The Bengals getting set to go. Well, what do you think? You get the ball off the turnover near the middle of the field. You take a shot here on the first play? You know I'm big on that. I love when I have great field position after a turnover. I feel like I might have a little bit off balance. I prefer to take a shot, but a lot of coaches will tell you you only do it if you trust the guy who's got the football in his hands. Meaning, if it's not there, he won't force it downfield and maybe turn into an interception. He'll go to the check down, go to a second option, and go ahead and take the play that's in front of him. Now a first down carry. It's Hill. Flash the stick skills on that run, but then stop shy of the 35. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Getting had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Second down, Hill, and this time not as successful as he'll get back to the line of scrimmage and no more. Call it no gain that time as it's going to leave him with a third and about three to go. So nothing there. I don't know that that's all in the back, though. you got to look at blocking there, don't you? I would agree with that totally. At some point, they have to win at the point of attack. Instead, it was the defense getting it done again and holding them to no gain. McCarron going to try and throw on third down. And Eifert has it. Give him six yards, and they do convert on third. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. So the offense has it first and 10. Now, prior to the snap, we hit all zeros as time has run out on the first quarter of play. 10-7 our score. We'll return to Cincinnati after this. The NFL on EA Sports is presented by Snickers. You're not you when you're hungry. Snickers satisfies. Alongside Charles Davis, Brandon Gordon, and it's the Bengals with a football to begin quarter number two. And they've got it here with a first down.
They'll run it now out of the gun. He'll get it to the 23 yard line. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. Complete. John Ross, the one he was looking for, and it's third and short. Had the right idea there, trying to throw it to the sideline, but he led him just a little bit too much, trying to get it out to his receiver. Ends up falling to the ground, incomplete. Now the Bengals on third down, just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. Here we go now. Three and Shotgun snap for McCarron. He'll have a first down inside the 10. And he will have the first down inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. point counterpoint wasn't it they decided to throw for it on first and goal instead the defense counters with pressure and the defense wins getting a big sack better here as he maybe gets back to the line it'll go as no gain on the play and now they're looking at a third and goal so stuff for no gain on second down brings up a pretty interesting third from this distance I'm throwing the ball and I'm not even thinking about play pass I'm gonna let him know right away I'm throwing it but I'm probably giving my quarterback some room sprint him out to one side or the other and give him an opportunity if it breaks down he can take off. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Giovanni Bernard, a 15-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals add on to their lead. There are several elements to a well-executed screen pass. This one resulted in a touchdown. It had all of those elements. Hey, you're so right, because you really need to rush to almost get to the quarterback, almost get to the passer. Then you've got to get the ball thrown perfectly, whether it's to the running back, the wide receiver, whoever the screen guy is. And, of course, the blocking has to form in front to get him downfield for the touchdown. Now Bullock to add the extra point. It's good to make it 17-7. That time, a nine-play drive, and it ends with a Bengals score. Kick this one away. 
This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Tom Savage ready to lead his troops back onto the field. He's had a solid start to this game, but bottom line is they're losing, so he doesn't care about his stats. He just wants to write the ship on the scoreboard. He wants to actually increase his stats because he feels like if he does, that means things will get better for his team, maybe get him back into the ball game or into the lead. In these situations, I remember playing with a quarterback once where he actually ran out onto the field first ahead of everyone else just to say, guys, let's go. Try and create that energy, create that spark. Well, so far he has one touchdown, one interception. He'll be looking for that second touchdown now. Trying to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. And he goes out of bounds just shy of the 45. A big one there for the Texans, 18 yards. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players nowadays. At that spot, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. down carry now for Miller and he'll only get a yard maybe two up to the 46. Well he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far and after that last run not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going and really the offensive line not helping him much. Second down, here's Miller. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Texans on third down, just one for three thus far. This is third and four. Savage from the 50. And this is going to be incomplete. When we talk with people about what we think the most important quality for an NFL quarterback to possess, what do people usually say? Arm strength. And he showed the arm strength there. Yeah, pretty good bullet pass he threw, but he wasn't accurate, was he? No. Listen, you like mobility, but accuracy, first and foremost, is what a quarterback needs. He didn't possess it on that play. He gets us away. It's a good one. Drawing toward the sidelines. And not what he was hoping for there as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback. A.J. McCarron of the Bengals offense heading back out onto the field. And he's been good. Two first half touchdown passes. No interceptions so far. Does a lot for your confidence. Does a great deal for your team. Gives them a lead. And they're feeling really good about how they're playing. I think he expects to throw at least another one. I was going to say, now he wants the first half hat trick, doesn't he? Oh, without a doubt. Go ahead and fling him on the field, folks. He wants that type of celebration. Let's go! Green, 39! They begin the drive with Hill. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. We become so accustomed to it, you, you sort of take it for granted. You really do, but he is so good that every team in his division, every year, is trying to make sure they draft people charged with trying to block J.J. Watt. So far, hasn't been too successful. Here's the option going left on second down. And holding it may be the wrong decision as he stopped in the backfield. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. I don't think there's any doubt that if it's me, I'd be really cautious about continuing to call this play because you got to know, defenders, if they get a free shot at the QB, they want to take it and they want to take it big. And they got it there on the option play for a loss. 
And the Bengals on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and 14. They'll run it now out of the gun. And not much there at all. He's up only to about the 16-yard line. Just a one-yard pick up there, and it'll be fourth down. Here's Kevin Huber now, standing just outside his own goal line. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt, and the Texans take possession. Now the Texans offense, they head back out to do battle here. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not, He's not a team anymore. I just cut him, <laughs> all right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Poor punter. Yeah, he, it, it wasn't his fault. But, so, <laughs> hey, listen, if something got, there got to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. They begin with a run by Miller. And an alley to run. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That good for 19 at a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. They keep it with Miller on first down. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. When you're putting together a formula for winning defense, it's exactly what we're seeing in this game. Controlling the line of scrimmage, attacking, and changing everything so that now they're playing in the offense's backfield. They're playing an excellent game. now on second. And a big loss here as he's taken down. And partner, it's safe to say that the secondary really contributed to that sack. Yeah, nickel set, five defensive backs. They covered everything. Nowhere to go with the football. But my question is, why didn't he throw it away? So after the sack of Savage, the Texans with a third and long fourth coming. Here we go now. Green 39. Green 39. From the gun, here's Savage. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Well, we could counting yardage on that one, didn't we? That was truly third and a mile, wasn't it? It was. I thought they might just go underneath, but they didn't. They wanted to get the first down there. Yeah, they tried to pick up the huge chunk unsuccessfully. I'm with you. I would have tried to take some yardage just to gain some field position. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. A well hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And possession will switch here as this offense will come on deep in their own territory. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency 
move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. You know, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. First and ten, here's A.J. McCarron. Caught Eifert over the middle. And he'll get this up to the 34-yard line. 18 yards on that one, and the Bengals are moving. First down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little game. for Hill. Now it's McCarron. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands. Unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense if that fell harmlessly to the ground. Second down now after the incompletion. Now contact up front as penalty markers come in. Who is this against? Neutral zone infraction, defense. They'll step off the five yards. Yeah, partner, you know. Defensive end. He wants to get into the offensive backfield. He wants that get off to be as fast as possible. A little too quick on that one. Hill and he'll go down right around the 47 this time seven yards there good enough to move the sticks and that's a nice pickup of a first down on that second down run and at that yardage gained they can run that plan any down sack. J.J. Watt in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Second down. Toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. He was looking for John Ross that time. And that'll make it third down. And Charles got to like what this defense has been able to do these last couple of plays. Yeah, they get the sack on first down. Then they force the incomplete pass. Now they're just a play away from getting the football right back. But it's a big play. They've got to hold up. Now the Bengals on third down. They've hit it 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third and 16. A.J. McCarron looking to throw. Complete to the right side. It's Eifert. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A good pick up there. 26 yards. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes. So difficult to cover.
Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Jadevian Clowney bringing the pressure again, and that is his third sack here tonight. Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Cincinnati after this. When halftime rolls around in just a bit, we'll send you to Orlando. You will hear the dulcet tones of Mr. Larry Ridley with our EA Sports halftime report. Does dulcet mean good? Yeah, it's just something that broadcasters say. It's got to be good, right? It's got to be you good. You tell me. Well, it's got to be good if Larry's doing it. McCarron. They set up the screen to Hill. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Give him six on the screen, but now it's third down. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. And the Bengals on third down. They've hit four of seven. This is going to be third and 13. Play action to Bernard. Now McCarron. And that is incomplete. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown in this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. And this is going to wind up left. Well struck, but it's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. And this is one of the risks you run when you attempt a long field goal. If you miss, the defense takes over to spot of the placement. So now they've got a chance to get one more drive in before halftime. Now here's Alfred Blue getting set to go again on offense. And a lot of times you talk about establishing the ground game, probably something they need to do more of here losing in the second quarter. When you're riding your best horse, you've got to lather him up. The best running backs I've ever talked to, they've all said the exact same thing to me. I'll even break a good sweat until I get to 20 carries. You're full of good wisdom. Let's see if they can get him into the game more now. Savage on first down. And the hookup here with Jalen Strong complete. Touchdown, Houston. Jalen Strong, 56 yards. And the Texans are able to show off their quick strike ability. And correct me if I'm wrong, that was just a simple fly route, wasn't it? No, there's nothing to correct at all. You've got it down pat. And I just remember as a player, when I'd be in practice sessions, and I'd hear nine from the receivers that meant fly route go uh oh look out <laughs> that was the nine and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown extra point forthcoming and this is up and good to make it a 17 14 game and they're able to get the connection on the long touchdown pass and that's one of the easiest drive summaries you'll ever see. One play, touchdown.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And a look at Jeremy Hill as he heads back out there now. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. He doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. Start the drive on the ground with Hill. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And before the second down play, we'll get a whistle, a signal, and a timeout. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. So we're back in the offense getting set following the call of that timeout. Here we go with second and seven. To throw McCarron. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Well, they're slinging it. And then there's one you got to put a timer on, huh? I mean, that one came in hot. That came in hot, but overthrown out of his reach and incomplete. Now the Bengals on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This is third and seven. Here's McCarron to throw. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. So the offense took the timeout. Looks like they're ready to go as we get set to resume the action. It's lining up first and ten. Let's go. Three, nine, Throwing now is McCarron. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. DJ Reader in there to get him the sixth time. They've sacked him tonight. This has been a tough one for this offensive line. It appears almost like they've been on roller skates this entire game, the way they've been pushed around. Six sacks given up in this one. shot before the half. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Personal foul. Face mask. Defense. So that flag will cost him 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. Off 
offense comes to the line now, first and ten. Throw now on the final play. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And incomplete on the deep ball. So we've reached halftime here in the Queen City, and it's the Bengals leading this one. As we'll send you down to Orlando, where Larry Ridley has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Larry? Okay, Brandon, thanks. And welcome, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get to the highlights. The Bengals are happy to be in front right now and just want to play two more solid quarters. The Texans won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. Here we go. Let's do this. Here's your first half highlights. Midway through the first quarter. McCarron's going to complete the pass, and this two-play drive goes for a touchdown. Bengals up by a field goal. Texans with the ball late in the first. The pass ends up being picked off. Braves is the one who makes the pick, halting the offense's drive. After the INT, offense comes out now. Bernard's wide open here on the catch, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. The Bengals push the lead to 10. First and 10, Strong's by himself here, and he's gonna go 56 yards for the score. Cutting the deficit to three. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. And here comes the Texans now. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here at half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. They go play action here on first down. Looking sideline incomplete. Had an open man that time, but ended up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. So they're still at the original line of scrimmage here. Second down and 10. To throw again. Savage underneath for Miller. And he'll get it up to the 33-yard line. They'll give him eight on the play, and they're going to have a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. The Texans on third down. Just one for five to this point. This time they face a third and two. They'll try to run for it with Miller. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. They get 14 on that one. Good for a Houston first down. Give them a lot of credit. They ended up running the ball on a key third down situation. They were staring three and out in the face and found a way to flip the script and keep the ball moving on offense. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Here's Savage. 
And lucky to get away with one there. That one nearly picked. Second down. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. And on second and ten now. again. Savage. Caught left side Hopkins. The 20. 10. Touchdown Houston. DeAndre Hopkins. His second touchdown of the night. And the Texans are in for six. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. Now the try here for the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it results in the Texans finding the end zone. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here are the Bengals now as they get their first possession of this second half. They're down in this game. A chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two. Try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most, half? Most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use. Just something to get you off to a quick start. The play fake to Hill. Dalton. Texans come at him and able to bring him to the ground. D.J. Reader in there to get him for his second sack of the night. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Second down, Dalton looking. Got his man, it's Eifert. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And there's another completion to the tight end. And let's face it, it is hard to overthrow a six foot six inch target. <laughs> it is indeed. The quarterbacks like their speed guys. They like that huge six six target that they've got in him. They really do. And it reminds me of what one great tight end told me once. He told his quarterback, just make sure you throw it up there. You know, kind of like put up on the top shelf where the kids can't get it. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. I definitely like the play call. You don't expect it on third and five, third and six, do you? You expect a pass play. Had a little courage there to call the run, and boy, they were successful. Oh, 
So the run gets them the first, and now they operate with a fresh set of downs. Play action here with Dalton. He's going to launch this thing way downfield. And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off by Andre Howe. And the return will stop him well inside their own 20 at the 15-yard line. Oh, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it. And the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. DeAndre Hopkins and the rest of the offense heading back onto the field. Seems like the measuring stick for a receiver for a great game is 100 yards. Well, he's well past that now. And as we analyze how he's getting him, that's where it really becomes fun because, let's face it, they keep sending coverage at him, keep trying to put the pressure on, yet he finds ways downfield and finds openings. That's a really crafty receiver. Exception here, Savage. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. On plays like this where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from it. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. A near turnover, but the offense recovers it. Now they'll try to regroup on second. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And this one will go to the 28-yard line. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. In my book, that's running the ball well, but with intelligence. How about him keeping the clock moving, staying in bounds? Yeah, even though it's the third quarter, you're thinking ahead, aren't you? This is where your running game can really help you with a lead in the second half. I agree totally. It's not just end-of-the-half situations that you worry about the clock. It's throughout the game, and with a lead, stay in bounds. Make them fight harder to try and catch you. Let's go! Blue a play fake to Miller. Now Savage. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. They were trying to get the connection with a former Buckeye, Braxton Miller. That'll bring up second down. Well, the numbers have been good in the passing game and certainly a big reason why they have the lead. But now here, third quarter, maybe go to the run game a little more? Yeah, perhaps. I mean, after that incompletion, a little credit to the defense for shutting them down on that play. Maybe you try and run the football a little bit more in this spot. But they have to feel good about how they've been throwing it overall. Lamar Miller. Now this will go for five up to the 33. The Texans on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This will be third and five. Here we go now. Green, 39. Green, 39. And movement here by one of the Texans up front. In comes the flag. Ball start offense. And that'll set them back five.
The Texans on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and ten. Savage from the shotgun snap. Drops it to Blue, complete. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A pickup of 11 and a Texans first down. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. They go play action with Miller. Now it's Savage. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Kevin Minter leading the surge there. He drops him for a loss of six. Well, that play was the very definition of fast, quick, and in a hurry. Suddenly, he was there. In a blink of an eye, that happened fast and a big sack. shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. This will be play number seven on the drive. Third and a yard. Let's go. Now it's Miller. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. That's a tremendous group effort there because when you talk about offensive lines, the best ones talk about guys that play in harmony, in sync, and getting things done, and they did that on that play. Yeah, especially on third and one. Got to be in sync, and they were. And the eighth play on this drive coming up. Here we go now. Three, ah! Savage on first. He sets to fire deep. The swing pass caught. A huge play there for Houston. 48 yards. Now that play will end up on the highlights and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time that allowed for the big completion downfield, those guys made that play possible. And now inside the red zone, the offense will operate. First and goal, defense with their backs against the wall. And after the good game last play, this time they say, uh-uh, as he's going to be stopped behind the line of scrimmage. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? And this seemingly endless drive continues. Savage just beating the play clock. And got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Houston. Steven Anderson, a one-yard touchdown reception. And the Texans will extend their lead. 
A good sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with, with great dispatch. Now they'll line up to kick the extra point. And that one pushes the lead up to 11. A pretty long drive that time. 11 plays all told. And the result, a Houston touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense mm -hmm. at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. They'll try to get the offense going with Hill. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. out and his throw is going to be incomplete his big tight end Tyler Eifert the intended receiver and it's third and short well too much oomph too much mustard there on that pass they really turned it loose didn't they really cut loose with that one sharp strong didn't lead to a completion though made it very difficult and the Bengals on third down they're hitting at 60 percent six out of ten thus far here it's third and two Passing. It's Dalton. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught inside the 35. And all the way down to the 26. A big play. Dalton to his favorite target green. 47 yards. And at this stage, down in the second half, looks like they just wanted to find a way to get it in the hands of their playmaker, and they did. I think you're exactly right. I don't think the coordinator's looking at his play sheet and trying to figure out which play will work well. He's trying to figure out how to get the ball to the playmaker that you just described. Looking down at that sheet, you find people plays, not necessarily X's and O's, and that's exactly what they did there. Tim. And the grab by Croft. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. Gardner, it's a lot of fun watching the NFL now, isn't it? Because when the big fella runs routes, it used to be when we were kids, he'd run about three different routes, and that was it. Now you can run anything and catch the balls we just saw there.
Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. This will be Dalton again. An incomplete crisis averted. Almost picked. Instead, second down. That man's getting a little loose with the football there, right? Interception before, almost had one here. He's got to start taking better care of it. Yeah, really should have been back-to-back -back drives with interceptions. He's lucky there. Second down following the incompletion. And again, Andy Dalton to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. He was looking for his favorite target, A.J. Green, that time. And that takes us from second to third down. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodged two pass attempts to the end zone. Now what do you think they're going to try and dial up on third and goal? Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you've kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Dalton on third and goal. That's going to be caught by Ross for a Bengal touchdown. I know Paul Revere talked about by land or by sea, right? And, you know, one by land, two by sea. He didn't mention air because right now we're seeing a big-time performance, aren't we? That's two touchdowns so far in this game. Where did you pull that one from? And, you know, every now and then I actually listened in history class. <laughs> and you, you're just a scholar all the way around. You're reading all the time. I like that you fit that in the broadcast. <laughs> you know, I just grab a nugget when I can. They'll try and run for it with Hill. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead a little bit further. Well, I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. Bullock out now to kick this one away. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. <laughs> and the decision to bring it out is going to cost him about seven yards, all told, as he's taken down back shy of the 20. Getting set to go again, DeAndre Hopkins marches back onto the field. And now he's inching closer to a 200-yard game. He's been so solid. And he's really denting the pride of the guys playing defense, too, because there's certain barriers that you just don't want to give up. You never want to give up a 100-yard rusher, a 100-yard receiver. He's closing in on 200 yards? Wow, that's a really big game. They'll try and get the run game going. This is Miller. And he finds some space past the 25 to the 27. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Some runs are blocked so well, you almost forget that someone has to carry the ball to gain the yardage. The leverage by the offensive line to create space up front, really well done. Second and very short here, less than a yard. Now Miller, he's had a big workload here tonight. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. It's an eight-yard pickup and leads to a new set of downs. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. So they pick up the first down after the run, and now they approach for the fresh set. Closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Give him a couple on the carry there. Second and eight. 
Well, he's looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple yards out of it. Because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. Second down, here's an option right. And now he'll tuck it and run. He'll wind up getting three on the keeper there, but it leads to a third down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game on the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Back now in Cincinnati. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point, just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. The Texans on third down. They're at 50%, four for eight. This will be third and six. A play fake to Blue. Savage. It's hauled in by Ellington. And he is out of bounds, just a yard or two shy of the 30. He got 29 yards that time. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And now a first down following that long game. They'll run with Miller. And an alley to run. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Do my eyes deceive me or is he getting stronger as this game moves along? Burst seems just as good here in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Miller. And for one of the first times tonight, he's going to be held up at the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. And in this situation with the lead fourth quarter, they're liking keeping the ball on the ground, I'm sure. That's just smart football, but you know the defense has to know it as well. They've got to stop them here. So now we're going to see that loading the box in a big way. Six, seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take. It's a little bit more pressure on your big offensive line. Right side, caught Fedorowicz. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. Eight yards on the completion, but now they face third down. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-get situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Texans on third down. Five out of nine thus far. This time they face a third and two. Gone. Savage. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. I think that's a good job there defensively. They did allow him to drive all the way downfield, but once they got their backs to the goal line, they really turned up the pressure. Yeah, they let him get all the way down here. Now the field shrinks. They've struggled to convert, and that last incompletion brings up fourth. And his kick is indeed good. And that will double their lead as it's up to six. So they get the three here, but you wonder whether that's going to be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've now made it so they need a touchdown rather than a field goal to catch them. But you're right. If they'd gotten six out of that drive, this would be a much different game. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. 
And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. So now the Bengal offensive unit back out onto the field. And that last drive, a long drive, but not just that, they had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. First and ten for Dalton. Now he's hit, and Dalton lost the football. A call it luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football there. Yeah, the biggest thing that they're calling it now, our ball. <laughs> I mean, they don't care if it was luck or skill. Boy, the panic that jumps up in your chest when that ball's on the ground, whether you get it or your teammate gets it, just as long as you maintain possession, that's all you're looking for. So they almost turn it over there. Scary moment, second down here. To throw here, Dalton. They set up the screen to Hill. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. That one, 28 yards on the ground. I wonder what was going through his mind when he got the play call. He just got sacked on the previous play. He knows they're coming after him again. A little bit of guts to stand in there, take the hit, and successfully complete the screen pass. Really well done. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. A first down throw coming for Dalton. And he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Call it a gain of five. And it's a second down. It appears they found something that's working and they keep going back to it. I guess you can actually say he has the hot hands now, doesn't he? Yeah, well, it's one thing to hit your guy out of the backfield once, hit him a couple of times. Yeah, you're right. Maybe they're onto something. And I think a lot of that is simply if you get it to him in space, more times than not, he's going to get more yardage than you expect out of each play. Dalton throwing on second down. Green's got it over the middle. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Dalton to Green for a Cincinnati first. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Dalton, first and ten. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out, incomplete. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. And Charles, this infraction is going to be against the offense. False start. Sometimes you have to get up to the line of scrimmage. Make sure your team is set before you begin your cadence. That's going to set him back five yards.
And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. All start offense. So that'll back him up five. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. Offense. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. motion again and that's going to be two in a row start offense. so this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And now movement again, and they'll march even further backward. So that one will be accepted. Third down and very long. And some secondary help here for the defense in the nickel on third and long. Another chance for Dalton. He drops it off for Bernard. And he'll get it down here to the 43. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. Well, that's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Kevin Huber now, as he's on to punt for Cincinnati. And they'll play keep away from the returner, as this one will be marked out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Pretty good spot. And now out comes Houston. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. First down throw coming. Savage. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. 
That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time he was reaching to bring in the football. Really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. Second and ten, Savage. Caught on the right side by Jones. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. The reception good for seven. It's third down. So a challenge is upon us. I tell you, close game, fourth quarter. This is a huge decision. Oh, no doubt about that, partner. A lot has to be riding on this call. And you know it is a tight one because it has to be indisputable visual evidence in order to change it. Now here's the big question. Do they actually have that evidence? We're about to find out. takes the timeout and they are back out and ready to rock. The Texans on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. Here it's third and three. False start there. That will set the offense back five yards. Brandon, the lineman, certainly flinched there before the snap. A good call. The crowd's not doing that O-line any favors. Home field advantage is really kicking in, making it very difficult for them to hear the snap count. The Texans on third down. They've hit on half of them. Five for ten. This is third and eight. Here we go now. From the gun, here's Savage. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. That's a first down if he holds on, but you saw the contact. Able to jar it free from him and force a fourth down. Great play defensively there, as you said, just to knock it free, because if he had caught that, pass the sticks, first down. Here's Shane Leckler now. He's been terrific so far. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. <laughs> Just a two-yard return there following a punt of 48. And the Bengals take possession. And out now, here come the Bengals. And you know, their previous possession, they were able to move the football, but still wound up punting in the end. You know, in 2016, Carolina had a 20-play drive mm, yeah. that lasted over 10 minutes. And remember how it ended? In a punt. Yeah, I mean, how does that happen? You just don't see that happen every day. And this one maybe not quite that bad, but still, you'd like to have a chance for points if you hold the football that long. Agreed. <laughs> On first and ten, here's Andy Dalton. Powers through. Fights off another. I think the second tackler would have learned from the first. Over the middle complete. It's green. And he's finally taken down, but not before getting across midfield and across the 45-yard line. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage, look defensively. Lee, Lee. On 
first and ten. Dalton. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. J.J. Watt in there again. My goodness, that is now his fourth sack tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Second down, Dalton. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. I know many people like to throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. But slot receivers do the same thing with their quickness, their speed, and their route running savvy. And the Texans have an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. So Dalton now. Underneath, this is Bernard. And he's going to get to the 31, enough for the first down. The Bengals passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else, end up going to the running back out of the backfield, and he picks up a back-breaking first down. Fresh set of downs here. Throwing, Dalton. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. Christian Covington in there to drop him for his second sack now here tonight. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. On second down now. Hill and tough sledding. He'll get maybe a yard. Stop short of the 35. We know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. Fakes the give to Bernard. Dalton. And he will avoid the contact as he slides to a stop. It'll be a gain of eight yards. And it'll be fourth down. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. Now whistles at a flag, and I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. False start, offense. Now look at this, fourth and 12, and they're going to line up to go for it. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. 
This will be caught inside the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. The decision to go for it pays off, and now they're set up first and goal. Fourth down, trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked in the distance you need, and that's exactly what they got done. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. So the Bengals in possession of the football here as we get your reset. They come up on a first and goal with this game still hanging in the balance. down and goal to go from the seven. Hill. And he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone and it'll be second and goal. Now whistles at a flag and I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. False start. Offense. This will be the ninth play on this drive. And here is motion again. And that's going to be two in a row. All start offense. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. And now it's second and goal. Hill to try again. And he's going to work this one down to about the five. Seven big yards on the carry there to get him within range of the goal line with third down upcoming. Now whistles at a flag. And I believe a Bengal got going a little early there. An extra DB defensively here. Big stop needed on third and goal. He may be a blitzer. He'll look to throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. Picked off by Marcus Gilchrist. Well, I don't think we'll have to look very hard to find our play of the game. That was an absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. The offense has it in the red zone. Driving for the winning score. And he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. And now out comes Houston. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. Now a 20th carry of the game for Lamar Miller. And he'll be taken down here at about the 23-yard line. And now the Bengals are going to call another timeout. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play.
So the defense had a chance to catch their breath, and now they're back out and ready. Second down following the run. Here's a give to Miller, and he'll get this one up to the 26. And now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense. It'll be their third and final timeout, so as they talk things over, we'll step aside. All right, so the timeout over, and all 11 men back out onto the field for the defense. The Texans on third down. They've converted five times in their many chances thus far. This is third and four. Now a run. This is Alfred Blue. And he gets it to the 32. Good enough for a first down. Calling a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. One final kneel down here, and that should just about do it. Well, I know at points in this when you wanted to close your eyes because of all the points that were being put on the scoreboard, you're a defensive guy, but it was a fun little track meet, wasn't it? It was, and you know the people who really enjoyed this game? They're the ones that like going to batting practice at the Major League Baseball parks, <laughs> right? Seeing the 14 to 11 game, that sort of deal, that's right up their alley with what we saw in this one. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gaunt. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. From Cincinnati, good night, everybody.